Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, coming to you today live. Without further ado, here is the Morning Gardener. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to show you how to grow sweet tomatoes. The kind that, that you taste and you never forget about it. Also, I'm going to show you how to grow a tomato that will grow faster than most tomatoes. And, and, and the reason for that is, is how you, uh, you know, you, you plant your gardens and how you, uh, uh, the type of seed that you're putting in the ground. Let's go do that right now. All right. Okay, hello ladies and gentlemen, we're back again. This is a, these are two very sweet, um, what we call it, tomatoes from my garden. They're very ripe, so I will cut these in half squeeze the the um, seeds out and these will be my seeds for next year I'm going to show you how we do that this is sitting outside now we're going to take you indoors and let me show you that all right good evening ladies and gentlemen this is yours truly and as you can see sitting right in front of you are two last tomato uh, la tomatoes from my garden these were very sweet I allowed these to really ripen up and what we're going to do to save the seeds is we're going to cut them in half and um, we're going to cut the other in half. These are very, very ripe, so they may mash apart, but that's no problem. Now, we have here a glass of water, and all we're going to do is squeeze the seeds into the water. That's what we're going to do. And um, this will be my seeds for next year. Just squeeze it in. Now, you don't need a lot of tomatoes if you have like a garden of uh, for a family of four or five or six people. Um, you just simply get the seeds you can. Let's see if we can scrape some of these up. Add those to the water. And this will keep you from running into the big box stores. Keep buying seeds. Now another thing that these seeds do when you do them in this fashion is they're already adjusted to your water. And um, they will, in turn, um, grow quicker than any other, any other seeds because they're already familiar with your soil. You will set this in the window seal. You will cover the top in with some plastic. And uh, once you do that, the seeds will, in turn, uh, start to get a yellowing kind of mold on the top of it. Around here will be a greenish yellowish mold. That greenish yellowish mold will in turn cure the seeds. Whatever seeds that float are dead. The ones that sink to the bottom and stay there, those are the ones you're going to plant. So you cover them with plastic. And I like to put a rubber band, rubber band on it, but it's not necessary. And that's it. Wait about three to four days and you'll see a molding situation on top. You pour that off. You take a towel, you dry the seeds that are there and you take those dried seeds and you put them in. This is an envelope from a piece of mayo. I just simply tore it in half and whoa, the letter was still in there as well. Okay. And, and then you just simply staple this closed, put the name and date on it. You got a pack of seeds for next year. This small amount here will grow probably up to, who knows, 90, maybe 200, 300 tomatoes. And then you repeat the process again and you'll have seeds for the following year, the following year. These, this is the way that it was done before we had big box stores. The farmers would save the seeds, uh, a certain portion of the seeds. And that way they always had seeds for next year's crop. This is what you have to do if you're on a strict budget and if you also want to grow a superior product that's very important. If you want to, if you taste a tomato that's from your garden and it is perfectly sweet, the right texture, you want to keep that tomato. And this is one of the ways of doing that. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and you have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.